Well, it looks like I have to replace the entire front axle on my camper. Let me show you why. It is because of fretting on that spindle. Always check your bearings and spindles and brakes when you buy a trailer before you go towing it around a lot. The fretting's occurring on this outer part where the outer bearing goes, and it doesn't look too bad on the top. But you can tell something's definitely going on there. So at some point the outer bearing failed and wore away the end of this spindle here and the previous owner simply put new bearings right over this and while that probably would have been fine I don't want to take any chances this is the kind of thing where if the end of the spindle breaks off then the wheel can just fall right off and cause all kinds of trouble and this is how it's supposed to be beautiful smooth round This side is perfectly fine. Sadly, this entire axle has to be scrapped because of the spindle on the other side. These are welded on. You can cut these off and weld new ones on, but they have to be perfect and they have to be done by a professional welder. Secondly, an entire axle is about 160 bucks. So, you know, by the time you go through all the trouble, you might as well just replace the axle. These axles are really easy to remove just unbolt the U joint, the uh, U bolts there, and if you have brakes, you just unbolt the brake uh, assembly. These axles are kind of standardized. As you can see, I unbolted this side; it's just hanging there. You don't have to un unwire it or anything. These are actually four-inch drop axles. That's something to consider when you're buying your new axle. Additionally, you need to consider the measurements, the spring centers, the overall length, and the hub length. And also the weight rating on the axle. It's pretty easy to figure out. I'll do a whole separate video on how to measure up an axle. Wow, so I'm on my way to Delaware pick up a new axle for my camper. Might actually get to use the camper once this year, because once I get that axle on, I can get it inspected, and I can tow it around legally. Why am I going to Delaware to get it? Well, it's because that's the only place I can find one in the whole eastern region that I don't have to wait a month for it to be built. They actually have it in stock. I'm happy though they have it, but it's going to cost me a lot more money to go do all this driving, pay the tolls, and everything like that. This particular axle doesn't... One quarter mile, turn left, then bear right. This particular axle doesn't come with the spring seats already welded on, so i got to take it somewhere and get those welded on. Luckily I know some people, but turn it's still going to cost me more money, road. more driving. Bear right.
my axle. Going back home. spring seats welded on or spring pads some people call them very nice that cost me another 79 bucks so my costs for this axle were 171 for the axle 75 for gas and tolls to go get the axle 79 to get these welded on 15 bucks for some bearings and 24 bucks for some new u-joint u-bolts uh, so like 360 something dollars So, take care of your axles, grease your bearings and stuff, do your maintenance, and you won't lose a ton of money. Still waiting for the U-bolts to come in, but I might as well put this stuff on while I'm waiting. Clean it up with some nice brake clean, non-chlorinated Pro Series.
finger tight, quarter turn with ten revolutions. And that seats the bearing seats the bearing races. If you're installing new bearings, these are used bearings that I'm putting in here. Then loosen this. So that it's very loose again. Then finger tighten it. That is the procedure when you're installing new bearings and new races. Of course, spin it, make sure it's spinning freely and it doesn't wobble. Do not forget your locking mechanism. Sometimes there's a cotter pin that you put through there, but these came with these things. If you wipe here, do not let your fingers go in there. They'll get cut on this edge. Learn that the hard way. Now you can put the wheel back on and you're done. I can finally get this trailer inspected. <laughs>